Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Boy, it has been a very long time since I've last done a video on this channel. Um, a couple of DayZ videos sprinkled in here and there, but uh, it's time to get back to some Let's Plays, and I was inspired by Rumpo Plays, whose channel you should check out, by the way. Uh, he started doing a Civilization V Let's Play, and I figured, you know what? This is a great game to do a Let's Play on because it can be really interactive. Uh, so I figured, you know what, we're going to try this. I um, found a mod that lets me play as Canada, and I figured that was appropriate. So we'll give that a try. This is actually my first foray into mods in Civ 5, so hopefully things won't blow up in our face here. But uh, what I want to do with this Let's Play is how I will try to do at least one video a week, maybe two. But... Um, I like the idea of letting you guys influence some of my decision making in the game. So we're going to take this pretty slow, and uh, I've played all the previous Civilization games, but the uh, Civ 5 has got some nuances to it that I sort of glanced over a lot the first few times that I played. And um, I really want to take my time with this one and sort of leave some of the decision making up to you guys when it comes to whether we should declare war on anybody, what uh, research we should go for, whatever. So I'm hoping to end every video with a question for the next one, like the next step that we should take. Hopefully you guys participate. So we've set this up here, Lester B. Pearson, Canada. Uh, we get a couple of uh, bonuses. We get the Great Voyager and the Garrison Artillery. And um, we're going with the Continents map. I was kind of hoping that there was a North American map. But maybe there is, and I didn't find it. I didn't spend all that much time looking. The Steam Workshop is full of stuff, so... Uh, and we'll keep this fairly small. Six players, 12 city-states, and we'll have a look at it. Greetings, Right Honorable Lester B. Pearson. You are considered one of the greatest and most influential of all the Canadian leaders. As Prime Minister, your efforts to bring about peace for your nation set the tone of Canada on the world stage. Under your guidance, Canada adopted universal health care, ended the death penalty, and became the first country in the world to allow race-free immigration. Your experience fighting in the world wars led you to champion the cause of peace. And after avoiding the Vietnam War and helping end the Suez Canal crisis, you were awarded the Nobel Prize for Peace in 1957. You had literally saved the world. Now, Right Honourable Prime Minister, your people look to you for leadership. The world is a violent place, filled with ambitious leaders with unscrupulous tactics. We need a leader who understands the realities of war and peace, who will push for diplomatic solutions wherever it is possible, unify our allies, stymie our enemies, and forge a civilization that can stand the test of time. I'm actually going to try to play this similar to what this outlines. I'm going to try to avoid war as much as I can, and play sort of in that spirit. Now, for some reason, the application I like to use to record stuff with was having some issues with Civ 5 in DX11 mode. A good place to found a city. Yes, thank you. We will do that. We will explore and we will build a city. And we'll do it right here. So I'm running in DX9. I don't know if the graphic differences are really that great or not, but um, I find Civ 5 a very soothing kind of game. I like the fact that it's not rushed because of the turn-based style. I've been playing so many shooters and fast-paced games where you can't take a break. Whereas with this, if I don't want to move you yet, Warrior, then I don't have to. But I will because we're going to have to figure out what we're doing here. But first we'll choose some production. And we will start with the monument. And let's figure out what we're going to do for research here. Let's see what we have. We have some gems here, so mining would be beneficial. Lots of grass and forest. Some hills. Um, Excuse me. I want to make sure that we can have something useful for the workers. So this will allow us to chop down forest and construct a mine. So that seems like a really good place to go. Pottery. See, I was watching Rumpo, and his um, strategy was to basically get the Great Library first, because you get a free technology. I kind of like that, but I don't want to copy him, so I'm going to go a different path. And, um... I think we're going to head down this bottom tree here first, because we'll end up getting some pretty good... Um... Pretty good 
things here, like removing jungle and having access to iron as well. So let's go with mining first. So because that will allow us to take advantage of some of these resources. I gotta turn the music down in game. Okay, that should be a little bit better. Too loud. So let's go exploring with our warrior here for a bit. Natural Wonder discovered the Behringer Crater. That would be good to have, maybe a second city around there. Uh, I really don't want all the advisors disturbing me all the time. So we're going to... I don't think we're going to be aggressive in any way. We're not going to attack anything other than barbarians, because they're going to make our, li our life very difficult if we don't take care of them. And we'll try to be... Peaceful. What do we got back there? Looks like we have ourselves a city-state? Vatican City. Excuse me. Oh, we get some added faith. And they have furs. I want to try to remember these things. That's some of the stuff that I rarely dealt with in my previous plays of Civ Five. Okay, these advisors are going to get really annoying. So we get one. Next policy in 22 turns. There's a policy that gives us a free settler, which is going to be very useful here in the beginning. Because uh, settlers are expensive to build. My previous Civ games, I would literally crank out cities as much as possible and as quickly as possible. But I don't think that that's a good idea in this particular game, to be honest. And we have Singapore here. City-states are really useful to have around. Um, they'll give you gifts, so you can trade with them. I kind of like that addition to, to Civ Five quite a bit, actually. I really like the fact that they have this uh, <laughs> Canadian thing added to it. And there's some barbarians. Oh no, it's Poland! Okay. Great. So we've already got some company on our tiny little continent here. There's the barbarians. Great. We'll try to get our hands on... some information that may be of use. Uh, those ruins. And get ourselves some extra gold. Maybe a unit, if we're lucky. The enemy unit you are near is fortified. Yes, I know it is. One of your combat units... Oh, go away. <laughs> Don't worry, these will start appearing less and less. So, we're definitely not going to do that. That would not be beneficial for us, but we will go ahead and take care of this. Uh, the survivors. They settle in one of your cities. Increasing population. Excellent. Increased population is going to be good for our city because we will have increased production. The city screen provides a detailed view of your city. And um, the other thing I want you guys to do as I'm playing is give me suggestions as to what I should do with these cities and um, if some of you hopefully can teach me some things as well. It's of these advisors. I could probably read all that stuff, but I don't want to. Let's take a look at what else we can do now in Ottawa. Uh, I kind of like the idea, since we can't build any other uh, city improvements yet, um, we should probably have a scout. I like I like knowing what we have around us on the map. I don't like the fact that these guys are fortified. I kind of want to deal with them, but I also don't want to lose my warrior right now. Might to do that at a later point. That was stupid of me. I should not have done that. Sometimes I forget to pay attention to how many moves I can take and waste them, especially when I'm just in the exploring mode. But not its mineral rights. You know, on second thought, I probably should have built a worker. I want to be second guessing myself a lot in this game. That's just the nature of civilization as it is for me. But, um,. You know, you gotta live with the choice. I mean, I could have changed it, but... The pyramids. Two workers. This might be... a very useful thing. Also, it allows us to construct a quarry and walls. That's good for our defenses, because we don't want to be very aggressive. 
and I'm hoping that we don't have a lot of hate happening towards us. If it's anything like in real life, nobody wants to attack the Canadians, right? So we should be good. That's my theory. So this looks like this is Poland there. I enjoy playing this game. I've played it at work um, quite a bit, I'll admit that. But the nice thing about it is that it's so... Like, I find it soothing and relaxing. It's a nice change of pace when you're used to playing Battlefield or Titanfall or anything like that. I like the relaxed atmosphere of, you know what, next turn I can... I can plan out what I want to do. I really enjoy that. Um, this is good. Policy in two turns. Very good. We're going to grab us those ruins. Maybe we'll get some goodies there. And happiness is one of those things that for me has been the biggest struggle so far. I tend to end up um, a lot with unhappiness. And I think part of that is because I've expanded too much. So... And that's not a good thing. Alright, so let's have ourselves a look. Um, now that we've got our scout... I don't really want to build a worker, but... I want a free worker! 12 turns is a long way, but we don't really have a lot of else, anything else to do, and this is going to take another 7 turns before we get masonry. But... Um, I like automating scouts, but not in the beginning. At the beginning, I kind of like to be in control of where to go, because I want to avoid certain things, and... Capture certain things. More barbarians. Great. Um, well, that's not particularly useful. Give us a little bit more of the map, but we can see that. Three citizens in Ottawa. Excellent. See, I was talking about happiness and how that's usually screwed me in past games because um, I end up expanding too quickly. Let's uh, adopt our policy here real quick. Um, we're going to go with Liberty... Even though I don't really want rapid expansion, this will give us uh, a free settler, which is good. And it also, besides liberty, come on, gotta have that. Must have that. Can we do anything? See, these guys have already fortified themselves. Um, this is because of the higher difficulty I'm playing at. It's no longer just a... You can't just roll over barbarians anymore, so we're gonna avoid them for now until we have something more... Powerful to deal with them. I don't want to lose my warrior right now, and I also don't really want to wear him down at this point. However, this guy looks mildly threatening, so we'll we'll shoot at him. I like this feature that they've implemented. Taking over cities is a lot more difficult than it used to be, because they all have sort of like built-in defenses now. You can't just walk into one anymore. I believe that's Poland to our left, so we'll head up there. Ooh, Carthage. Yes, that sounds lovely. So everybody's exploring right now. It looks like we're on a fairly large continent. Um, let's harass these barbarians a little bit more because I want them to stay away from my scouts down here. Don't really want them to get messed up, so we're gonna run right past that. Okay. <clears throat> let's take the road easier traveled. Let's not go through the mountains. Four turns till masonry, and then we're gonna start working on the pyramids, I think. So we want those two workers, and then we'll get another settler from the policy, so we'll be, uh, Expanding pretty quickly, but not too too quickly. Oh, more ruins. I love these things. Sometimes you get a city out of them, I believe, which is great, even though I don't really want to have one way the hell up here. Okay, we're going to whittle down these barbarians. I wonder if... This looks like it's probably the southern edge of the continent. We're on the bottom of the map here, so I don't think that there's much to see for us there. What did you get? 20 culture. Awesome, that pushes this right over the edge for the social policy. Very good. It's a nice little increase. We're going to go to the right, and we just found somebody else. Found another AI player. 
All right, so we'll head up. Uh, can't go into that crater. Backtrack around. We'll go up to the left and sort of send our scout along this area here and see what we have happening there. Uh, collective rule is what we want to get the settler. So we're going to choose Republic. Extra production is also great in the beginning of the game. Helps us grow. And these barbarians are toast. Nope. One lowly guy survived. Who's this? Oh, that's Carthage. All right. So, things are happening here in a minute. How happy are those whose walls already rise? We can build walls. We can start working on some things. First, we'll get rid of that barbarian. We'll move you up here. And we'll keep heading further north. And seeing we can see more barbarians in another natural wonder. Getting a bit of extra happiness is always nice to see. Now, research. And, um... Not quite there yet. For I'm probably going to leave you guys to decide the next course of action after this. But for now, we have masonry. We can't really move on anywhere else yet. Bronze working will give us spearmen, which are not very useful at this point. Horses would be good. Arches are good for defense. Um, I kind of want something to deal with the barbarians. But um, I wonder if we can pull off two wonders, if we can do the pyramids, and we can still beat the AI to the Great Library. So we'll give that a try. Pottery is always good anyways, having the shrine, and especially the granary helps with food. So we'll do that and um, carry on from here. What are we building here again? A worker. Three turns. Okay, good. We can start working on some of these mines and maybe chopping down some of that forest there. And um, these barbarians are abundant. Looks like we may have another city state up there, so we'll check that out. Ah, see, now I did that again. <laughs> there really needs to be an undo, but oh no, I'm okay. Never mind. Take that back. Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so we get a little bit of gold from them. Um, we don't want to leave our unit inside their borders. It upsets them. We can travel through, but we don't want to hang out there. Another city-state. This may be one giant continent that we're on here. They have silk. That's also good to know. Okay, so it looks like we may have found the eastern edge here. I think we should have our worker this turn, no? Yes, we do. Kuala Lumpur is under attack from barbarians. I don't know if I can really help out much there. Should we go try? See, that would really involve us... Um, Getting rid of this encampment here, though, which we don't really have the means to do with this lowly warrior. So we'll continue exploring the map. And we'll get our worker to work here. Um, and I think we will go with the farm there, because food's going to help us grow. That's the other thing that I really had problems with in previous games, was the happiness. And then your city growth completely dies. Like, when you get unhappy enough... Um, Production and everything slows down to like 75% of what it has or something. It's 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 a really hard situation to get out of, I found, anyways. Um, let's see. We'll go with these pyramids. 27 turns is quite a long way, but I really want to get those two workers. I think that would be very beneficial. Help us get established. And in a few more turns, seven turns, we'll get to get our free settler. A little more. You may want to I know, we won't stay there. I didn't mean to stay there. Again, I screwed up my... Oh... These barbarians! They're everywhere. Those guys might be after us. Alright, let's build our farm. Ten turns. Hmm. 
bringing up the Shall back of the pack. Say to him that fashion of it. What makest thou? This whole faith thing, by the way, is new to me. That's part of the uh, Brave New World DLC, which um, this is the first time that I've actually played a game with that DLC installed. Screw it. Let's let's attack these guys. Start gaining a little bit of experience here. And research now. Let's go for the Great Library. That's what we want. Now that's going to take us nine turns. It's going to take us a little longer to complete this. So maybe we didn't make the best choice, but we may get that settler and maybe get a second city to work on the library while we're doing the Great Pyramids here. Not great pyramids, just pyramids. Okay, it's good to see that Poland seems to just have one city at the moment. Sometimes when you're playing and you have certain enemies or AI players on the map that really like to expand rapidly, it creates nothing but problems. And then you get forced into situations you don't want to get into. Why did I run away from these guys? I wanted to try and fight them some more. Okay, good. We're well on our way to defeating them and getting a promotion, hopefully, for these warriors. And they're still within striking distance. There's the promotion. We'll get to that in a second. Keep going alongside here. Starting to map out the continent. Minor victory, but now I, I kind of like this instantly healing thing, but I think we can take these guys in two turns and that would be a bit of a waste. So we either want to go rough terrain benefits or open terrain benefits and just looking at what we have here uh, in this area, there's a lot of rough terrain, so I think we'll go with that. Maybe we'll get lucky and actually kill that unit off here. They're going to have like, they're going to have one little guy left. One guy. Kiev. Gems. Oh, nice. What was this? Poland announced they protect Kiev. Okay. That's fine. I've never really gotten into many of those pacts with the city-states. Perhaps I should at some point. If you have any advice in that area. I'm all ears. Two more turns, looks like, until we can get a free settler. I'm not sure where we should place that next city, to be honest. And yes, we will heal because we're sort of in barbarian infested lands. Um, I don't think we want to have a city down here. We probably want to have one... If this encampment of barbarians wasn't there, I'd say we want to have one a little more inland. Um, maybe we can get a look at what this area looks like here. I'm not sure. I'd like to have one here. Maybe I will put it close enough to that encampment. That will probably be what I leave up to you guys. Um, let's go over here to build a mine. Probably let you guys choose where I'm going to place my second city once I get that settler. I'm going to keep these episodes to about 25 minutes or so. These guys are going to fuck up my new farm. Alright. Here's our new policy. Collective rule to give us a settler. Only one military... And I, I hope that these barbarians don't interfere with my plans right now. That could be very bad. I don't think there's much up here, so... kind of wonder if I should bring my warrior back down here sooner rather than later. Uh, let's start working on the mine. Okay, good. I can move him. You can found a new city with yes, I know, lady. Okay, I want to end it right here. I will leave it up to you. I'm going to give you a couple choices. I would like to, as recommended by the game, build my second city in this area, or we could go further into this undiscovered area there. So if you have a suggestion, uh, let me know.
and I will I will follow that suggestion. I was thinking actually in this tile over here, it's close to this cattle. It's close to the salt. We have some flatlands for farms, and I don't want to build it like right next to the barbarian encampment. That seems like a horrible idea. So I'm thinking on this side of the river or on the west side of the river, or perhaps the north side. So let me know what you think. And we'll continue here in the next episode. And I'll, I'll try to do two of these a week. I should be able to do that. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me know. Until next time.